One out of three Americans is making a New Year's resolution to lose weight. Maybe you're one of them. So is signing up for one of those mass market diet programs the right way to go? Our financial contributor, Vera Gibbons, is here to compare the costs and the results. Good morning, Good morning, Vera. Maggie. So you came up with dollars per pound. How did you figure out that formula? Right. We took a look at the total cost per program, out-of-pocket cost, and then we took at the expected weight loss per program. A lot of them are two weeks two pounds per week or eight pounds a month, and we divided that to come up with how much it is going to cost per pound. Okay, and you ran this by everybody participating yes. in the segment. They did not dispute these costs. No. All right, let's Weight, start Watchers. Weight Watchers. This is the big granddaddy of all the programs. This is really the industry a bellwether, and it's a $55 billion industry. It's really about encourages sensible eating, a lifestyle change. This one comes to about $90 per pound or seven sixteen dollars per month, which is about in line with what the commercial program Programs Average are. cost per month, seven sixteen. That includes what? Because it's a lot more everything, than meals sometimes. Everything from the meals to the online support to the meetings. And that's okay. those are the kinds of numbers we took into consideration. All right. Here. So it was how much per pound? Ninety dollars per pound. Ninety dollars. Now Nutrisystem, this is the one where it's about prepackaged, portion controlled meals, all arriving to your home. There's no counting calories, there's no points, there's no counting carbs. It's easy for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Over 160 entrees to actually choose from. Some of them you can buy at Costco and Walmart for 15% off, so that's great. This one's about $5.29 a month, which is actually a couple hundred dollars less than the average home delivery program, which is a bonus. So this one comes to $66 per okay. pound. So we've gone from 90 to 66. Mm -hmm. Same weight loss, but significantly mm -hmm. less. Yes. Now, these Atkins and South Beach, you know these programs, mm -hmm. right? People say, oh, the costs are so high because you're buying a lot of stuff out of pocket. Well, that can be the case if you're going for the high-end cuts of meat, the filet, the shrimp, the tuna, whatever else. But even if you spend, say, $1,000 in a typical month, which may very well be the case, you're still going to come out ahead because you're losing an awful lot of weight in the first two weeks in that induction period where so many foods are restricted. So these programs actually come to under $50 per pound in that first month. Because they claim you can lose up to 21 pounds the first month and up to 12 after. So that is well, significantly more Well, that first two weight. weeks, you're talking 15 pounds lost on Atkins and 13 on South Beach. Now, after that first month, the weight loss slows down uh -huh. and the cost per poundage actually goes up. So okay. 79 per pound on Atkins, 102 per pound on South Beach. All right. So what do you think is the takeaway from all this? The takeaway is if you're making a commitment, stick to it. I mean, 95% of people who lose weight gain it back in the first three years. And after that, the failure rate is even higher. So if you mm. shelled out $10,000 a year for one of these commercial programs to lose 50 pounds and you gain it back, you're not only waste out, of money, waste you're of time. Not only out ten thousand dollars, but at eighty-five dollars per pound, you're out an additional four thousand two hundred fifty dollars. So right. stick to your resolution, and, or do it like our Dave Price did it so many years ago. Just you he know, lived off Diet Coke, I think. No, didn't he? just diet, <laughs> sensible diet. Don't buy crazy exercise. expensive food and exercise. Two Lot cheaper than all of these. Two thirds of American either overweight or obese. It's a big problem in America. All right, Vera. Thank you so much. Thanks, Maggie.